And now storm tracker weather with meteorologist Paul Bean. All right, let's start with a look outside. This is up in the Teton Pass, and while you can't see much past the streetlight, Take a look at the ground out here in the parking lot. Seeing a lot of snow still on the ground. That's because of those temperatures up in the mountains still below freezing. Even here in Pocatello, we're at 32 right now. So moving forward, we'll get above freezing, but a lot of we still underneath a freeze warning through until around 9 a.m. this morning because it is very cold all throughout the region right now. But we are starting to warm up. That's the, the good news out of all this. Well, we are at 30 and 32 all around the Snake River Plain, 28 up in Idaho Falls, seeing some scattered 20s near Yellowstone as well. We're starting to improve for our highs during the day. So our lows were in the 30s, our highs are now in the 50s, whereas yesterday we were closer to those 40s. So we're seeing an improvement. Taking a look at that storm tracker, we're seeing a, an improvement in sky cover as well. Yesterday we were seeing a lot of those scattered snow, rain, mixed showers all throughout our region. But today we're only seeing a light layer of clouds and that's going to start to move away as well. For the most part, we're seeing that sun almost throughout the entire day, which is one of the many reasons why we are seeing the warm up start today, seeing closer to those mid 50s. Now up north in Montana, you're seeing that moisture out there right now. But as I zoom out, you can't see it just yet. And a little bit of clouds down there, but we're going to see start moisture start to build from the Pacific through Nevada and then head up into our direction so around tomorrow we're gonna start to see that moisture again with a snow rain mix here in the Snake River Plain and a possibility of more snow up in those mountains so definitely don't put away those snow boots just yet because we're not out of the woods at this point now as we take a look at that future tracker though a lot of that snow that I pointed out earlier has moved up into Montana that low pressure system that is behind me off the map that is continuing to move over and will fully move out in the next few hours uh, out of Montana as well. Now you can see a little bit of those clouds down to the south. We'll let that play out around tomorrow. That's when you see that move through. A lot of that snow in the snake, or uh, excuse me, in the central mountains, some rain and a mix in the Snake River Plain as we move forward. So we are gonna see a little bit of moisture tomorrow. After that though, we are once again clear. That system moves through relatively fast. You can see it there on Wednesday. And then for the entire seven day after that we're staying clear and that's going to lead to that nice slow warm up 62 on Friday 63 on Saturday and while there is a slight chance of rain on Saturday and Sunday for the most part it will be partly cloudy so next weekend we will be on the warm side and even though you might have to keep your eyes on the skies it will be a nice weekend at the very least. Idaho Falls very similar. You can see there that I do have the scattered rain there for Sunday and Monday. And a lot of that temperature is getting into those low 60s. So even in the colder parts of the region, we're still seeing that temperature warm up all the way into those low 60s for this weekend. And over in the Tetons, it's always a little bit colder. So unfortunately, a lot of that rain we're seeing here is going to be closer to that snow they're going to see up there. Like I showed you on the Teton Pass, expect to see more of that moving into tomorrow. And then once that clears out, we do see it warm up into the low 50s and then a return of that snow on Sunday, Monday next week. Central Mountain's also seeing a little bit more moisture on Wednesday, Thursday, but for the most part still seeing that warm up. It's a little bit delayed because of that moisture though, hitting those low 60s on Friday. And while we are looking forward to those low 60s, I mean, it is October. <laughs> it is. And the Teton area, like that, um, the live cam you showed this morning, there's a bit of snow and they've yeah. seen some snow this fall already. Yeah, and, um, Compared to last year, hopefully we're a little bit better than that, but we will be above average precipitation-wise. Okay, good to know.